just gonna take a few minutes and enjoy this fight. Do you wanna feel what it feels like, Casey? Yes. This isn't that big one, it's only four pounders. <laughs> he heard me. He heard me! He heard me! He's mad. He's mad! <laughs> Welcome back, MFers! <laughs> like dreams are made of out here tonight. Just uh, enjoying these wicked pisses. <laughs> Jesus. I thought he was in. I'm glad that when you set the hook here, you know they're like this because I probably would have just set the hook and be like, ah, he was small, but I set the hook hard and actually perform and pick that line up really fast. He's not small. Oh yeah, good little starter fish, just like a four. Sweet. We're out here in the wind, dragging some natural rock. Good start. Bigs only out here. That's what happens. Put on a fairy wand, catch the babies. Should we save them for bait later? All right. Oh, you hit me in the nuts. <laughs> Cut that coal! <laughs> Dude, I got something in my leg. I got something in my. I got him! Yeah! He was whipping my nuts with his tail. I feel like there's. When the grass is up, they can spread out so much more than when we were here. Now it's just like this. Baby one. Look how fat he yeah, is though, dude. That's so why he fat. fought so hard. Yeah. So strong. Super strong fish. Look how little his mouth is. <laughs> he has like the mouth of like dude. a eight incher. Look at his eyes, how different He's they got are. A zombie eye. Oh, that's just a zombie eye. Uh, I don't know. Tougher night, but we just moved out to some deeper rock and found a little baby four plus pounder. So mean and fat, I love them. Woo! Good man. For whatever reason, magic tube today, tonight I guess. God, that's a fat, thick fish. Let's put a weight on that one. Four sixty-five. Dang, fatty. Get him. Yes. Yep. That good. Yes. Get that net. I don't want to lose that. <laughs> you 
not going to. That drag set. Get that Maddie set. Deal, Timmy. God, they fight. They just keep digging. Yeah. You haven't even seen the boat yet. Shrinking. Keep growing. Shrink, shrink. Ooh, it's a big one. Oh, right over the net. Oh. Yes. Yes. Oh. That's a God. Anchor, man. Look at that. On the bottom of its end, too. Mm. There it is, your biggest, dude. There it is. Oh, God, that feels good. I came a long way for this. <laughs> you did. I came a long way for this. That was a lot of work. Hey. Absolutely, man. Do you guys notice a lot of them have this like line down the side? I don't know what that is, but they have that looks like, mark. Looks like it's rubbing like rock. Yeah. Damn. I see. Like most of them, we've kind of had that. Wow, so small. Got the tank. Dude. Get some pictures. All righty. Let's get some pictures. We'll put them on the tail. He might have got a five. Probably not. Five twenty-six. Yeah. <laughs> woo, woo. fishing out here man it is it's so freaking windy guys but hopefully you can hear any of this what we're fishing out here is just offshore rock piles we're scanning around on side scan to find these rock areas on these big prairie lakes so that it's like dirt bottom lakes tons of crawfish tons of the little tiny shrimp and all these lakes but what we're finding is they're they're really around the deeper rock today we, there's rock in super shallow water all the way tapering out of the deep water and we're getting all of our bites Today, not so much yesterday, but today it's on the deeper stuff. We can't even catch them on our shallow rock piles. Magic tube has been the deal. Casey was throwing some other stuff, um, some craws, dragging stuff, stuff around. And as soon as he switched over to the tube, got a freaking bite. So I don't know, there's something to it, that's for sure. But we're fishing super, super slow. It's a, it's a tough way to fish in 25 mile an hour wind in 10 to 18 feet of water, but it's paying off with some giants. You got your biggest one ever, Casey? Ever. By a lot. Yeah, it that was, like, was awesome. It was like a three, three and a half pounder. Maybe. Yeah. It's badass. We got a couple hours though before it gets dark, so um, keep sticking, I suppose. back at the lodge um, we have 28 to 30 bush lights that I'm working on drinking by myself tonight and it was a fun day on the water today we had a good time M mostly Casey because he uh, all he did all day was was drop the hammer I mean he caught one fish <laughs> that was big and now he's the best smallmouth fisherman in North America you have to hear it from Casey tell him you caught you caught one yeah I don't like to toot my own horn most of the time but um, I came about five states north and taught Ben how to catch a smallmouth for the first time ever. <laughs> so, so we had a pretty good day. Um, but my fish was the biggest fish of the day. Uh, we didn't make that clear, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> but we got one more day tomorrow. So we're going to go back out. Um, ben right now is leading with like a 560 something. So I'm gonna catch a big one tomorrow is my goal you know, because there's nothing worse than losing to Ben. So, um, Zark, what do you think about it, man? Well, I kind of, uh, today I laid off him a little bit, let these guys kind of catch up to me. Uh, felt a little sorry for him. They've been struggling a little bit. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> true story. Uh, now nah, we had a good time today. I was glad to see Casey rail on a big one. That was awesome. Doesn't get a chance to fish for a smallmouth of this class. So, it was a good time. Good time hanging out with good guys. So, we got the three of us and Cole, of course, the camera guy. And we got one more day left. We came up here to catch big smallmouth. 
We kind of dicked around a little bit this morning, trying to get on some and, and doing some hunting around. But tomorrow we're going to go to the land of the dinosaurs where the biggins live. We've been saving, I haven't tell you this, we've been saving two lakes that no one has ever fished before. No, we're fishing. <laughs> we're going to go to places that we've caught big ones before. We know they live there. We're only going for big ones at this point. If we only catch two fish tomorrow, so be it. We're going to try to catch 37. But the best thing for me, to be honest, is, is getting Casey on these fish. We're catching them on some baits that you guys have never seen before, that I had never seen in person before, before this trip, that are going to be absolute freaking killers for you guys to get out and use. And I'm not just pimping them because Casey's here or anything else. Like I was telling them, I'm going to sell the shit out of these baits because I'm going to use them constantly. And they catch fish. And they're this is the first time I've been using them. And they're catching ridiculous fish and it's been out fishing all the baits besides the tube um in the video today um and we're kind of working on something you might want to tell them the most important thing is that we're out of them <laughs> right <laughs> going into the final day that's true i was also through in the tube because we're out of the bait that we've been using i just woke up everyone in the lodge i'm very sorry okay we need to cut this video out because i've been talking way too long so from from me and Jimmy Bush that created this beautiful Jimmy light logger, Johnny. Jonathan Bush, um, we will catch you guys in the morning.